So I'm going to copy these uh, if statements on the top. I'm going to place them above this. And I'm just going to rename this to mother flash cooler. I'm um, timer, sorry. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste that with this. I'm going to paste that with that. I'm going to paste that with this. Now, underneath this following bracket, we want to say if open bracket mother flash. timer is greater than zero then we want it to do something we want it first of all to make the mother flash timer equal to mother flash cooler so it cools down mother flash timer is equal to mother flash cooler okay and then I'm gonna call muzzle flash show function now I'll explain why now basically in this function I'm gonna create something related to the timers if our timer is greater than zero I want to disable all the objects like the lights and the muzzle flash itself otherwise if our muzzle flash timer is equal to zero or within the boundaries of a cooler it will emit the particle and then turn the lights on as well and also if it's greater than zero we're gonna check and see what happens in the function so mother flash there we go now let's start doing that so in this function we want to say if open bracket muzzle flash timer is greater than zero we want something to happen and in this case we're turning everything off so we say muzzle flash dot active dot emit sorry not the capital the smally non cap sorry equals false and then we're going to turn the lights off as well so light one dot active equals false I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna paste it one two rename those two two and rename that to three now I'm gonna say if open bracket muzzle flash timer is equals to equals equals to muzzle flash cooler then we want our mother flash to be able to shoot uh, emit sorry so copy all these four paste it here and set all of these to true copy paste 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 save and also we want to apply a random rotation to the muzzle flash so it's never flashing in the same direction it's always spinning around in a 360 turn so in order to do that you have to put muzzle flash dot transform dot local rotation equals quaternion dot angle axis open bracket random value random sorry not random value uh, random dot value and uh, times that by 360 and um, I'm also going to times this by something called particle speed which we're going to create above it just makes it spin a lot faster because it tends to take a long time to show the mother flash again otherwise and this is going to speed it up a bit and then comma vector free dot forward close bracket close that off uh, copy this name go on the very top and define the new variable called public float now integer 
paste that name and give it a value of 200,000 okay now we're gonna check and see if this works let it update oh goodness my battery is dying I did not notice okay so we're gonna run the game And okay, one second. It doesn't seem to be. Read all time is fine. Shoot cooler. Okay, hold on a second. But I just made a simple mistake. Uh, figure the problem out. Um, we forgot to tell the shoot cooler to start cooling down. So shoot cooler, shoot timer is equal to shoot cooler. Okay, that should work now. Sorry about that, guys. Now if we shoot. Seems to be taking a very long, uh, long time to show the motor flash. So let's set that as zero point one. Why is my computer so laggy? Okay, that's strange. Supposed to show it. Uh, particle speed. Let's just stop this. Go to your main player and reapply this one. Sparks to that. Shoot cooler 0 0.5, 0 0.9, 0 0.5. What's the flash timer? Is that we're moving? Let's find out. No, it's not because. That's wrong. I should have not put uh, if well, the flash timer is greater than zero, it's supposed to be equals equal to zero. Once again, sorry for the silly mistake. And run it again. And this time. There you go, fantastic. Now the problem is, if I keep holding the key in, it sometimes interrupts with the animation and shoot uh, brings the mother flash before it. We're going to prevent that, and that's where we're going to use the key cooler in. So basically, we're going to apply that on top of the key because if we if we keep holding it, it's going to keep on um, showing the mother flash, and we don't want that. We want a second off, and the only way we can do that is if we apply a cooler for the key as well. And if we do that resets the key and it, it thinks we press it again afterwards so on top of this one copy these three uh, copy these two if statements put a space and you want to say shoot cooler not shoot cooler sorry key timer key timer is going to be that it's going to be that I don't need this in this one delete that out key time is going to be this and key time is going to be that now on top of the if input dot key you want to put if open bracket key timer is equals equal to zero then we can press the key if it's not then we can't press the key at all 
and then we want to reset the timer for the key as well and let's test that out run the game there we go it's in time with the gun shoot when it shoots it's in time with that that's perfect and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and favorite this video for more daily updates thank you for watching and enjoy your day